First product we're going to feature today is System Flush. Think of it as a Drano-like product for your hot tub. Your hot tub has lots of pipes and tubes inside of it that over time can build up with debris, whether that's uh, sticks, leaves, um, stuff from off of our bodies. We want to get that moved out so that your hot tub is always performing a tip-top shape. So the very first thing we're going to do when you're going to drain and clean and refill your spa is we're going to remove the filter. Currently I am removing a 880 series on Sundance filter. Uh, we do have other videos on our YouTube page that show you how to remove all the filters in the hot tubs we carry. So I'm going to remove this filter from the hot tub. I'm also going to make sure that there's nothing else floating in the spa, such as uh, scum balls or if there's any other uh, floaties or anything else you have in there, all needs to be removed from the spa. Then what we're going to do is actually pour this whole bottle into the spa and we're going to run those pumps for three cycles. Okay. Um, if you're planning on draining your spa that day, you can run your pump for as many cycles as you want. If you're going to run it, if you're planning on draining it tomorrow, run it for a few cycles and then make sure that that circulation pump is on so that, that, so that this product gets circulated through and breaks up any debris that's been stuck inside the plumbing um, or is caught up so that once we drain the spa, it'll all come out. And we're going to show you a few other tricks of the trade to help remove all of that out of the lines. Okay, before you're going to put the system flush in, we want you to make sure that all of your jets are open. What we mean by that is you can twist the outside of the jet and close it off. Um, and if it's closed off, then we're not going to get the system flush to go through there. So make sure every jet is open and make sure that your diverters, if you have them, are to the middle position so that each, tub, each uh, seat is getting uh, some water. So first thing we're going to do is pull the cap off and pour this whole bottle in. Now we're going to turn the jets on. Both jets. All right, so at this point, you've uh, removed the filter, removed anything else in the spa, you poured your system flush in, and you've turned your pumps on. Uh, that's going to create some foam um, inside the spa, which is what we want because that shows that we're cleaning, um, utilizing it to sanitize the interior of the spa. So once you've, that duration has happened, whether that's a few hours or whether you've gone overnight, uh, the next thing you're going to do is turn off the spa at the circuit breaker to make sure that the pumps aren't on when we start draining the unit. Drain the unit down. Um, if any of you have drained a hot tub before, you don't normally get all of the water out. Um, so if you've used a submersible pump, um, that will certainly help get down further. Um, but what you're going to want to employ is a shop vac. Um, you can get the rest of the water inside of the footwell. And then what we like to do here is you can actually put this nozzle up onto each jet face. Uh, the heat return, um, any orifice you see in here, where the filter is, all of that so that we're evacuating as much water as possible <clears throat> so that when we refill, um, you're starting with a, a nice fresh clean tub. Another product that we chatted about earlier is called Off the Wall. Um, this is a product that you use on the interior of the shell when the spa is drained only. So you put this on, some gloves, wipe everything down, rinse it back off with water, use your shop vac to evacuate anything else, uh, and then we're starting with a nice fresh tub. Another thing that our technicians do when they come out to drain, clean, and refill your spa, they'll actually remove the cap and the gate valve here on your large diverter, which is an area, you know, a large intersection for water in your spa. So that can be done by just pulling this off, unscrewing the nut here, and removing this whole assembly. Um, you can take your shot back, uh, reverse it so that it's, it's blowing, not sucking, put it down there, and you're blowing out the lines from that intersection, which is gonna push anything else that may have not come out when you drained it. So again, you're starting fresh. And next we'll talk about the proper way to clean your filter and then refill the spa. Okay, now that the spa has been cleaned, rinsed, recleaned, and completely drained, we're now at the point where we can refill the hot tub. Right now I'm showing you in the 880 series uh, filter compartment. In this particular series, we want you to stick the hose right in here so that the water is being pulled in the same direction that the pumps pull the water when the hot tub is full. This is going to uh, help to avoid any type of airlocks that could happen in the pump if you just uh, stuck the hose in the center of the hot tub. Okay, so right in here, fill it up. Hot tubs usually get full right to the bottom of the pillows. And while you're doing that, um, we have a product called 
Leisure Time Filter Cleaner. This is what's used to soak your filters in so that you have nice clean filters when, once you're complete with draining, cleaning, and refilling your tub. If you have any questions on these products, you can check out our website, articlehomeliving.com, or call any of our three locations.